In the race for Maryland's open U.S. Senate seat, this was a day of dueling endorsements. Republican Kathy Shalega won backing from a national small business group. As a small business owner myself, I know how hard it's been, especially over the last 10 years, to stay in business. While Democratic Congressman Chris Van Hollen racked up a big education endorsement from the state's teachers union. Chris Van Hollen has been a staunch supporter of public education. His record shows that he puts education priorities first and is able to bring bipartisan support on education issues important to us in the classroom. This comes as a new Maryland poll of registered voters shows Van Hollen with an enormous lead over Shalega, 55 to 26 percent. Well, this is exactly where Larry Hogan was two years ago, so I was not surprised. But there's a new wrinkle this election cycle, Donald Trump. According to Goucher pollster Dr. Malia Cromer, Trump's unpopularity in Maryland is weighing down Shalega's numbers. What to do now? Differentiate herself from Chris Van Hollen. Um, and, I, and I think this, this recent endorsement certainly helps do that, that she's a really pro-small business Republican. Um, and she also needs to distance herself as much as she possibly can from Donald Trump. So for Chris Van Hollen, he needs to make sure that he doesn't turn this into a tortoise or a hare election, right? He is far ahead, but he needs to make sure he doesn't stop. There's another dynamic at play in the down ballot effect. It's called negative voting. According to a new Pew Research poll, when compared to 2008, more voters this time will cast a ballot based on the candidate they're against rather than the candidate they're for. Reporting live tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News. Interesting.